yeah yeah we can start this is in uh, ma'am uh, akshay ma'am pati sir Yes, ma'am. We can start the session. Okay. Yes, sir. Over to. Uh... Yes, ma'am. YouTube is also live on streaming, so we can start. Okay. Okay, sir. We'll start. Over to Sabri, sir. Ah, uh, thank you. Good morning, Onadal, present here and participants. uh today's topic is the leadership and great importance of work culture the sir really is a wonderful topic uh, in the current scenario uh in this state i remember uh, one of the quote given by the great alexander i'm not afraid of the army of lion led by sheep i'm always afraid of uh, the army of sheep led by lion that means the leadership is most important uh, for the winning of uh, any team or any uh, army or whatever it is so the current work culture uh, in this scenario the leadership is most important uh, in this regard the today's uh, topic is the leadership and its great importance of the work cultures going to delivered by uh, ms josephin soumya she is having a rich experience uh, in the finance uh, industry like pnb baribos inc so as a finance manager see a time within 10 years of uh, the work uh, work life uh, is he reach the financial manager state is definitely he is the right person to deliver this topic uh, today so hopefully uh, we, we are all very eager to listen your uh, uh, lecturing in this regard now just say over to soumya to deliver the topic thank you soumya uh, yes so uh, before soumya i would like to uh, talk about uh, who she is um it's uh, soumya it's a great honor for me to introduce and welcome uh, welcome you for this morning session uh, and she is my good old friend uh, she started her career as an associate uh, in bnp paribas global securities operations private limited she had an opportunity to learn about trading global securities there and uh, she is currently handling a team which is transversal in nature the company identified her as a leader and elevated her to be a team leader in just 4 years of her experience and now uh, she is a finance manager there uh, during these 10 years <clears throat> she has handled the uh, various processes uh, migrated few processes from paris uh, received a spock awards uh, the process which she migrated from paris led to huge success in her career path we are delighted to have you as a speaker today over to you ms soumya and um, thank you so much uh, both uh, sabrina dan and rebecca uh, it's so honor uh, to be in front of you all and to deliver this um, short speech about my career as a leader um this present to give you a hint uh, about myself yes as rebecca clearly mentioned i joined bnp paribas in 2010 which is a very very wonderful environment to work with um which um, showed me the right path uh, to become a leader and to be successful in my career in everyday life um it's a great place where i have a wonderful work life balance uh, on a day to day basis um i have a 4 year old son so i'm a single mother and you know how difficult it is it to manage both work and life um my comp- company has given me a lot of opportunity to balance it um and with all my all the managers support i have uh, i've been in i'm right now in this position and uh, it's a very honor to address you all um it's not going to be a formal presentation as such um, that you were expecting it's going to be a life sharing experience you will have certain points that i will tell you about leadership and the attributes of it but most of the presentation time would be of my own life sharing experience in various scenarios i have been in in these uh, 10 years of my career so to start with um let's start with a small story 
okay i think everybody loves story even if you are uh, a small child or you if you're old enough um, story is always a wonderful thing to hear so let's start with the story uh, there was a wise man in a um, village he was considered to be very wise and uh, people go to him for advices people think him as a leader of the town so he was a wise man and there were two mischievous fellows in the same village who thinks that why should he be considered as a leader or why should he be considered as so wise so the what they thought was let's make fool out of him let's make him fail in his leadership and prove people that he is not wise anymore so what they did they caught a butterfly i think many would have heard the story but uh, just to relate to my topic i'm just telling you all this so they caught a butterfly and one this mischievous fellow hold it in his hand like this he just closed his hand inside keeping the butterfly inside it so he went to this wise man both of them asked okay you say you're wise you say you're clever you say you know everything now tell me is this butterfly alive or dead so uh, the wise man thought of a second um, and he was quite surprised with the question and he was thinking what he should answer and then suddenly he smiled he just gave a look on to the mischievous guys and then said the life of the butterfly is not in my answer but rather it is in your hands mm -hmm. so they were all the both the mischievous fellow was astonished by the answer so what does this story refers to the boys it's sure that the life of the butterfly is in the hands of the boys so if the wise man would have said that the butterfly is dead he would have just opened his eyes uh, hands and flew the butterfly away saying that the butterfly is alive if the wise man would have answered that the butterfly is dead uh, alive he would have crushed the butterfly and would have showed him that the butterfly is already dead so what does this story refers to this is where the leadership comes into picture a leader should know his subordinates should know how to handle situations it's not the answer that he gave it's the understanding of the situation and answering the situation according to it a boss or somebody would have said why should i answer you better tell me what's the answer so something would have been that sort but when it comes to a leader he makes people understand that he is a leader by giving wise answers and advices so this is my short story to start with um let me go on to my presentation okay uh rebecca can you see my my screen yes somya it's going it's getting connected yes, okay so yeah um a very very small presentation and a simple one leadership and work great importance of work culture so both leadership and your work culture go goes hand in hand every time so uh, basically work culture is defined by majority of the leaders which i'll be coming back to you uh, later so i am done with my story you would now know how a leader should react in certain situations now let's go what is basically a leadership what does leadership people talk about leadership leaders everywhere and everywhere around what is leadership in simple terms i would say one person one individual person intentionally influencing influencing another person to willingly work towards a preset objective so there are three important words in this sentence one is intentionally influencing the other other one is willingly work and the other one is your objective so both the person who is influencing and the person who is working will have a common objective say for example in my office in my career the delivery of a something is the objective that we set for a particular topic me being a leader i should deliver that one if i will have to deliver i will have to drive my team 
to work towards it so that together we deliver the objective so mind is an intentional influence i preset my mind that i will have to influence my team members intentionally and not subconsciously it should be intentional influence so that my team will work willingly and not out of pressure you get my point i think you all understand what i'm saying so is this intention and willingly working will have to be there so that the leader can have a wonderful leadership skills so please keep in mind when you will when you are thinking to become a wonderful leader in your career you will have to be a intentionally influencing person okay let's move on to the next slide now this is most more of your bookish explanation of why leadership is important and what is required but let's go deep inside when what um first thing why leadership is important why do you need a leader say there is an army uh, as your sir explained uh, with alexander as a man as an army if there was no lion will the sheep be safeguarded no there should be a lion in front who will safeguard the entire crew who will lead the entire crew who will tell the team to to understand what the objective is where are we heading to because in this forum there are many people who are attending say i'm just giving you an example in this forum there are so many people attending if everybody starts talking together initially rebecca gave an explanation about my career so instead of rebecca giving an explanation everybody starts speaking together nobody will understand what's happening so a leadership is a defined role to explain what is happening what should happen what will happen in the future first first the thing is effective leadership is essential to a functioning society if a society will have to function well society meaning a two three people join together is a society for us so if a society will have to function well you need an effective leadership for a simple classroom to function well you need a class leader even in our schools we had bench leaders just for four or five people we used to have a bench leader i don't know why that was created but it created a lot of impact in my classroom my bench leader collects all my all the homework notebooks submits it to the class leader so it was an organized environment even if it's for a small community of people when it goes to a larger community like country you have a wonderful leaders all over the world who is ruling the world especially in this pandemic situation the decisions taken by the leader are helping leaders certain leaders are helping us to come out with it with a least possible way the second point is to march people towards a target of achieving one common goal this is what i was talking about in the previous slide a preset objective it's not only the leader who's going to walk towards that objective but he should march his people towards an objective when i say march i think it might remind you of your school marching or your college march fast even in your march fast you have a leader in front who will tell you if you will have to move right or you will have to move left when you reach some direction so that is the role of a leader he should guide you if you will have to move which way to reach your destination the second thing is the third thing is to motivate people in the right direction there may be situations where you will be demotivated where you will be depressed where you will not know where you are leading to i had a um, situation in my life um it's nothing to feel pity about it but just sharing my life experience i lost my husband two and a half years back he was uh, um, identified with a viral infection after his travel to uh, to paris and um, all of a sudden within 15 days he passed away i was totally devastated that was um, actually the main year of my career to become a manager i was totally devastated i was totally uh, demotivated i didn't know what to do i was blank all around um, but then in just 16 days of his demise i went i started going to office 
that time my bosses my supervisors my managers motivated me to the extent that i am feeling comfortable in the office i am taken care of every second and i'm motivated in all the simple works that i do i wasn't able to contribute much because i was mentally depressed but whatever i did they appreciated me they motivated me they helped me a lot to come out of the situation and understand that there is much more that i will have to give to the society or my company and for myself too they made me understand so leaders are such people who make you understand motivate you what is right for you so that's why leadership is important next moving to what is required to be a leader we all have leadership skills uh to give you a small uh, instance when my son four year old son comes and says um amma i don't uh, want to see peppa pig it's it's very boring uh, i want to see paw patrol that's his decision making skills in just four years i was just wondering how come a four year or even before that he used to say this so i was just wondering how come a small child can differentiate between two cartoon net cartoon channels which is equally interesting like each other so that's where the leadership comes into picture everybody every child every human has this in him just that you need to enhance your skills you need to upgrade yourself by learning you need to believe in yourself that you have the capacity to become a leader so that's what i said about is self awareness first one you need to understand what you are you need to know what you're capable of you need to realize yourself sit and think for yourself am i capable enough to become a leader am i capable enough to handle people am i capable enough to influence people so it's you need to understand yourself first and the second thing is obviously communication any field anything that you will have to excel you need to have communication by communication people may think that speaking english is the communication no communication is comprises of lot of things you speak you express communication to me is just an expression of your feeling if you are able to express what you want to express and make the other people understand what you are expressing that is what communication is all about be it in english language be it in french be it in whatever language that is there available in the world including tamil no problem about it just that you need to pay, make people understand what you want them to be understand communication uh, communication to tell you people when i started this uh, presentation i was little nervous you could have understood it in my voice i was little choking but that was there only for 2 minutes because once i started i realized the audience are listening to me i understood that the audience are hearing to me and that boosted my confidence and my communication was well so that's how it happens for everybody you just have to understand your audience you just have to understand the receiver you just have to read the receiver if you read the receiver your communication will be successful and influence influencing is a very very wonderful skill i would say um i get influenced by many people when somebody comes and says for simple example when somebody comes and says samya this uh, movie is wonderful you should watch it or the song is very nice you should listen to it i just go and do it i just go watch that movie that day itself i just go listen to that song that day itself if if that person wouldn't have said that i wouldn't have even logged into that movie i wouldn't have even watched it so but if there is a way to influence you need to influence people meaning you need to make people understand that you are influencing them that you are making a change that you are driving them towards something that is influencing next is learning agility learning know when the change course and help others to do so so know the change you need to as a leader you need to understand what is the change 
why change is required and you need to tell people that they will have to be a part of that change inevitably they will be a part of that change and the next thing is as i said is the decision making uh, in the current scenario of pandemic it's not you and i who's taking a decision of a lockdown it's always a leader who's taking the decision of the of a lockdown so it's generally like that any decision making even in your house for simple example uh, most of the houses it's not a decision taken by all the kids or anybody in the in the indian scenario in the indian culture that we work in it's always the dad most of the times it's the dad who takes the decision because we believe that dad is the leader of the family same thing happens in my family too my dad takes most of the decision all my siblings are married have kids but still when something comes into picture when something has to be discussed and decided it's always my dad who takes the decision so that says uh, leadership comes in hand come hands in hand with a decision making skill you need to be uh you need to take decisions you need to know to take decisions but keep in mind be mindful that your decisions should be the right one so if i would have to say an example in my life in my career um i would have to choose somebody to be my uh successor that's the greatest decision that i'll have that i'll have to make in my career so i have become a team leader if i will have to move to a assistant manager then i will have to train somebody to be a team leader and that team leader should have all the skills of a leadership quality that i was talking about there are a lot of people working under me among them i need to choose one which is very difficult we don't keep tests like how do we do in school? schools or colleges to rank 1 2 3 three in offices so i need to analyze them i need to see what they are doing on a daily basis and then decision of what a leader is all about so that decision making will help me it's always a win win situation when you take such decisions if they do their work properly then you are awarded for your decision making and you will be you will have be having a proper backup when you are not available so it's always a win win situation so this is what uh, what is required of uh, a leadership next what are the challenges this is one of my favorite slide guys so um, what are all the challenges that i face that anybody could face as a leader contradicting statements but you need to think deep down on every statement that i say or you see to be strong but not rude you need to be really really strong but not rude say if my team member has made a mistake i can't go and shout at him in a corporate culture you can't go shout at him you can't just go say what what did you do why did you do this i can't shout but i but my message should be strong i need to make him understand that he has done the mistake and he should not repeat it again so to be strong but not rude to be kind but not weak there are certain people who are very kind enough who tells even if there is a mistake that is done or if an if there is some issues that's happening they'll be kind enough telling okay okay leave it leave it let's i will manage somehow or let's leave it people might think you weak people might really think you weak and they can overboard overboard you they can hide they can do mischievous things and your life is at toss so you need to be kind enough you need to be empathy empathy is very very important you need to be kind enough but you can't be weak you need to be bold but not bully you can be bold be strong be be thoughtful in your words be bold but not bully somebody do not make fun of somebody with your boldness be thoughtful but not lazy you should always be thinking what you should do next if you will have to be a successful leader you should be thinking what you should do next do not be lazy lazy and thoughtfulness will not go hand in hand be humble but not timid you need to be humble leadership has lot of qualities in us be humble but not timid 
when you become a leader be proud but not arrogant you should be proud about yourself for being a leader but you should not be arrogant for becoming a leader i've seen people where they'll be very low calm composed when they are at a processor level but once they become a leader you should see the change in them there are two sides of it one few people will be so proud about their change and they enjoy the change and make people enjoy it and drive people they cap capture people towards them but the second thing arrogant doesn't go hand in hand so um you would have seen i mean everybody has seen bahubali movie there were two leaders bahubali and i don't know the other person name so two people so first one was proud of his uh, leadership but he didn't couldn't be a leader but the second one was arrogant he became a leader but he was arrogant which people didn't like so be proud of your leadership but don't be arrogant have humor but not fully yourself you should be humorous in my team meetings i make people laugh people laugh at my jokes but at the same time they will not fool me they don't think me as a fool so make sure these are all very good challenges if you see the slide you have very very strong points Str to be strong to be kind to be bold to be thoughtful to be humble to be proud and to have humor lot of skills lot of uh, power packed information that a leader should have so, next uh change change is inevitable and in this uh 20 2000s we've changed we've seen a lot of change that's happening around us within us so one thing is innovation if you will have to be a leader you will have to innovate something new be on top of innovations it's not innovation doesn't mean that you will have to innovate a big machine or a big uh, six sigma project or a big innovation in your company as such i would say to me an innovation is if you could move if you take Five minutes to move a table from here and there with your innovation thought. If you can move that table in one minute, just putting a wheel at the bottom, then it's an innovation. To me, innovation is which reduces the time that you spend on a particular thing, and which is which increases the efficiency of the process that you do. That is innovation. Artificial intelligence is what we are hearing every day in and day out. You need to be, you need to know what is happening in the point of artificial intelligence, AI. What is happening? What is happening in the world? What is happening in the scientific world? The next main topic is diversity, which is my favorite topic because being a woman leader, diversity is very, very important. So what diversity means is having a diverse work environment so if you ask me in my team it's a 50 50 percentage of gender ratio so you have 50 male employees under me and a 50 female percentage of female employees under me so it's not only gender ratio diversity refers to uh, gender ratio your um, um nationality your um, states your languages your cultures everything together is called diversity now in the changing world people are looking more into human skills increased value for human skills people might think that robot is replacing humans but no now in the current scenario increased value for human skills is in improving but human will have to showcase the skills unless and until you showcase your skills you will not be running in the competition you will just be an ordinary man but if you show the change you it, it is a, the value for the human skills is increasing in this changing world and the fourth thing is in, is employee engagement which we are seeing 
right from the from many years now so leadership is one such thing where you will have to have employee engagement you will have to get connected with all your team members all the managers on top of you all the networking i would say in a simple word so you need to have employee engagement with everybody around you okay i think you've seen more of more slides now so let me show me your face my life as a leader so far i will hide my presentation for now so So is my video visible now, Rebecca? Yes, sir, ma'am. Yes, sir, ma'am. Okay. So I think uh, you have heard a lot about the book theory or uh, about leadership. So now it's the time for me to tell you about my my experience as a leader. So um, initially, I gave you a very very brief information about myself. now i will give you a ex detailed explanation of what are the challenges that i faced what are the good things that i had uh, what are my challenge what are my uh, strengths so i will tell you all those things so to start with i started my career in 2010 as i told you before as an associate in bnp paribas um very good uh, team i was uh, uh, um, picked up in so my manager then was uh, very strong in process so she trained me the process very well that i could excel in the process in a period of 6 months so she was a wonderful leader she is a leader who has a deep down knowledge about the process which is one very important thing of a leader so you ask her about any questions she is there to answer you she will give you a clear information of what that process is all about so my knowledge that i have now about the securities trading about my career is mainly because of her then there was another manager who motivated me personally meaning my emotional quotient was trained there so he gave me opportunities to explore new things one of my ma one of my managers said uh, they gave me a critical process in just one and a half years of my experience and my head called me and he said uh, saumya uh, we don't usually give this process to somebody who has joined just a year back it's a process that is to be done by a experienced person but you have shown some skills that you can handle this process very well so i have the confidence in you and that's why i am giving you this uh, opportunity so that was a word the confidence that he had in me pushed me to the next level so his confidence boosted my confidence so i was very very cautious in my day work so telling that okay it has to be done by experienced person but they are giving it to me so what would i do to do better than that so i was double cautious i used to double check my work no, not make any mistakes because i don't want to fail them and i don't want to fail even so that was my first step towards of being a leader and then the another manager came the next manager whom i worked under was very open to changes was very open to uh you should um understand the leadership traits that i'm talking about of my managers that i have gone through so that's why i'm explaining you about my managers as well so the next manager that i uh, was under she was uh, she was very very adaptable to change so whatever i say can we do this this way or can we do this that way she says so may do it let's try let's see what happens if you see it's right, say it's right it's going to work out then let's work it out see that way so that gave me another level of experience so i was able to explore many things try new things out the next manager who came who was very chilled out manager in my life so he is like you okay it's your work you do it it's your team you handle it you don't have to 
report to me on everything that you do but keep me updated simple thing you keep me updated he is not a micro manager he says you keep me updated but you handle it so that gave me complete freedom to handle my team and that's when i was promoted as an assistant manager so it's because he gave me opportunity to explore it completely not by micromanaging not by guiding me or not by telling me not or not by asking questions on every other point that i do and then uh, the next manager came who is full of ideas full of um, lot of new things that he is fully idea driven so he helps me out even today to tell me that you have lot of potential when i was talking about this uh, presentation to him yesterday he mentioned uh samya that's a wonderful thing that you're going to do if you need any help in your presentation you can contact me i will help you out in this in the presentation a manager who is in the office need not help me out something that is that i'm doing out of my personal interest but he came out of the box and he told me that i can help you if you want any help so you need to have right managers you need to have right managers who is very supportive in your career there's an another manager who is again a chilled out person who never asks any questions until and unless there is an issue so he leaves me to work under my area so you do your work you know what you're doing he tells me this you know what you're doing so you continue to do what you're doing if you have any problems you will reach out to me i am always there to guide you so this is one kind of manager the other manager that i have right now he is the head of my department he says he is open to any any sort of discussion that i have so he is one level up two levels uh, above me actually so but even today if i have any problem i just reach out to him and i say boss i have an issue i need to talk to you for 5 minutes he will be busy the entire day but trust me he spends his time to tell me to uh, to to listen to me actually basically he listens to my problem very carefully and then tells me okay very good i mean i can help you out uh, so he helps me really he has helped me a lot throughout uh, for two and a half years now he has helped me to uh solve many problems to guide me in the right direction so these are all the kind of managers that i have so now it's time to talk about my managerial skills so if i will have to talk about my managerial skills then i'll have to talk about um, my team members who tells me about my characters so we my team is very very close knitted and they say um, i always ask them what do you want me to improve in myself they say samya you're very cool uh you are very jovial uh, we look up to you for many things you are very strong uh, you uh, tell us how to do and what to do when to do you guide us in the right direction but i keep on thinking am i doing the right thing to do am i doing what has to be done as a leader i keep on thinking to myself should i do something better should i do something great should i change my uh, path of leading them should i should my approach towards them be changed should i have a different uh, skill sets to motivate my team to be a leader and not to be a boss so i think of this every day and i get guidance too from certain people asking them is my leadership skills right is am i going in the right direction am i taking care of my team very well so to me leadership is not a is not a individual skill that you can develop and excel it's a skill that many people will have to help you towards it so people will there are managers who will help you your peer managers will help you your team will help you all the people around you will help you should help you for you to become a good leader let's talk about uh, work culture 
very very small thing that i'll have to discuss about work culture work culture is something that is defined by the uh, members the way how you react to the culture culture decides the way employee interacts in the workforce say for example in your uh, college the way the staffs discuss defines the work culture the way students define discuss defines the work culture among the students so in a corporate world there are a lot of work cultures that we follow um if you think it's up to you how you want to drive your team to me the work culture that i follow is to be very jovial and to be very closely knitted with my team i am not a person who is aloof from my team saying that i am a manager and i will be very strict i will not uh, you can come to me only for your for if there is any escalation or if there is any issues nothing like that i do talk to people every day i call them ask how are they uh, especially in this pandemic situation it's it's very important for a leader to motivate them not to get demotivated not to get depressed not to be in the stressful situation so as managers we call them we call the team members talk to them understand their personal issues connected with their professional career to help them that personal issues should not be affected in the professional life so we train them and we coach them on many things so my work culture is being very very interactive and being very very social being very jovial among the team i always think when you have a personal connect with the team you can get things done very well so i tell my team uh, in a simple if i could say like the activity can you finish it so that's language towards them it's not like guys tomorrow there's a there's a deadline and we will have to finish it no that's not the tone that i use rather i use a tone guys tomorrow there is a deadline can we all work together to finish it off and let's see what can be done if there isn't any issues so there are two different uh, tones that you can use to define your work culture so leadership and work culture always goes hand in hand um i think uh, that's all for my presentation about leadership and work culture i would be happy if you have any questions for me right now uh, before i could uh, say my ending note good morning ma'am yes shweta i do have a question ma'am in a corporate which skill is uh, very important problem solving attitude or uh, that's not my job approach that is uh, focusing on your own uh, job role which is more important ma'am in a corporate okay um if you it depends on you so if you are a person who is always striving for a change striving for a career growth or striving to do something uh, out of the box then problem solving nature is very very important you if you sit aside telling that okay it's not my job to interfere and uh, let me not solve this let me be aside then you will be left aside in a practical corporate world you need to face challenges you need to solve problems you need to tell people that i have the capacity to solve problems when you tell them that you have this capacity to solve problems then for sure you will be identified as the next leader trust me you will be identified as the next leader because problem solving is one important uh, criteria for a good leader ma'am can you give some organize i couldn't hear your question shweta can you repeat it ma'am can you give some suggestions on how to self organize ma'am okay i will tell you what i do on a daily basis so uh, i have a diary with me there are a lot of things that people have to do on a daily basis there are a lot of things that we will have to remember on a daily basis and i'm not so uh, i'm not a person who has a lot of memory power so what i do is as soon as i go to my office i take my diary i put the date 
and I write down all the points that I will have to complete on that particular day. I organize myself. If you um, come to my office and look at my desk, you will see 10 different diaries right from the day I joined from 2010. I have diaries piled up in my desk, uh, which, which one thing I'm so proud about that uh, I show it to my team members as well as an example. If they want to do this way, they can do that. They can organize. So I write it down every day. And at the end of the day, I take the diary again and mark everything that I've completed. I make sure that I complete everything at the end of the day. So before I log off, I will ensure that everything is being ticked off, whatever I've written in the morning. So that's one thing that I will have, that I do it on a daily basis, even today. So I can show you an example uh, right now. There is a diary that I have for 2020, BNP Paribas diary, that I write it down so you can see certain tick marks with the date. So this is how I manage my day. OK, I have questions from uh, Pati sir, one second. And Shweta, you, I, um, is your question answered? Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Um, so you spoke about all wonderful managers you had. How to handle managers who are not good? How do I get motivated? Wonderful question, uh, Pati. Uh, unfortunately, I have oh, not sorry. had a situation. Uh, the question is not from me, from the YouTube participant, uh, Jeno Rajula. Okay. 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 Great. So. Um, Unfortunately, I was not, I had not been in a situation to have a not good manager. But uh, again, if you don't have a man, if you think that your manager is not good enough, you always have the right to speak it out. So uh, we do have uh, options like you can talk to your manager's managers, or you can directly go and raise your voice. Usually we tell people, um, to be very straightforward, people might think that uh, I might be cornered, I might be judged if I speak up my voice. But first, people have to understand that it is a win-win situation. If you point out the issues that your managers have, you are giving a opportunity for your manager to understand the issues and grow well. On the other hand, your career is also taken care of. So getting, how do I get motivated is one thing that you will have to think about. Um, Self-motivation and motivation through your peer. So that can be done. And one thing, the main thing is you will have to speak out when you have to speak out. That's the answer that I would give for, uh, on how to handle a manager that is not good. And uh, the next question, how to improve leadership skill? How to make the team members to work together if they are not doing? OK. How do you improve leadership skills? Um, as any skills, leadership skills uh, can also be trained. Just that you need to understand what has to be there, what should be there, what is really required to be a leader. There are a lot of uh, attributes for a leadership skill. but in the position that you are in right now, you need to understand what are all the skill sets that is really important. So in my team, I have a lot of people who have different mindsets, who have different, who are from different culture, who have different mindset about different work, different uh, prospects. But how do I make them work as a team? As I said before, I understood my way of doing, getting work done is bringing everybody together. So I be very jovial, jovial. I talk to them. I have a personal connect. Tell them that, guys, let's do it together. I don't ask them to do it. I tell them, let's do it together. And I uh, keep on motivating them. I tell, I, I have a regular chats with them professionally and personally to understand what they want. I put in a question. As a leader, you need to put in a question to them, telling that, uh, asking them if they face any real issues. 
so the question will have to be very very concerned it can't be a formal question it can't be a question like okay i will have to ask a question so i'm asking a question no they need to understand the personal connect so a good to me this is my experience that i'm sharing a good leader will have to have a personal connect so that's the answer for that question uh, vineshwar how to make the team member to work together have a personal connect with them there is no harm in it i'm asking you to chat with them every day not that personal connect it's a professional personal connect you tell them you make them understand that you are really really caring that you are really caring about their career you are really wanting them to grow in their career you need to give them the feel then you will obviously be a wonderful leader next one from jenny wilfred good leaders promote strong ethics and safety can you comment on the statement yeah um of yes that's sure they will have to it's there is a saying lead by example so that is what uh, the strong ethics is all about so you lead by example you have when you expect something from your peer when you expect simple example when you want your peer to come into office on time you will have to be there on time so you lead by example and when you want your peer to complete a work with a stipulated time you will have to show them by doing your work on the stipulated time so it's all always lead by example so that's the basic ethics so yeah, there are a lot of ethics that follows i'm just talking about the simple ones um, ethics is which you will have to lead by example leaders will have to show how to organization how to react to certain situations so it's always lead by example uh ponvinakshi wonderful speech thank you where you present your language content thank you so much for your comment uh how do you care and uh, you know you care a safe and trusting environment trust is very very is one important criteria so i should trust my manager only i trust my manager i can talk to him the same thing only when i on when my team members trust me that is when they will talk to me openly so i can have a personal connect with my team but that personal connect will have to come from the other end as well it cannot be like a one side love so i can't be having a personal i can't be going and having that personal connect and the other person doesn't have doesn't go well so i have to have a personal connect by gaining their trust first so once i gain their trust then the personal connect comes into picture and then the environment is very good the work culture is set and your work is done at the end of the day and everybody will have a good career uh, path the whole team as such will have a good career path um any more questions uh yes premier there's another one from saumya uh as now we are in a pandemic situation mostly everything is carried out virtually right from internship placement etc it seems difficult to get my works notified spotted by the superior maybe it's easy to get works acknowledged in person what can be done to overcome this that's a question okay um that's a practical difficulty that uh, we are also facing in the current situation um uh, if you have the face to face contact yes your work will be recognized very well because you can go just talk to them explain them what you have done but in a uh, work from home environment where everything is online where everything is digital it's quite difficult to uh, make your managers understand what you have done but there are a lot of ways to do it so what we do is uh, we have a weekly update we have um three times a call with the managers to tell them with my managers to tell what we have achieved what we have done so 
right now in this pandemic situation in this current situation the only thing that will help you is your communication if you because that's the only mode that can tell people that you're doing something so unless and until you communicate efficiently it is in your hands so you communicate efficiently to your managers telling that i have done this this is what the outcome is you need to be very very precise with the data tell them that this is what my my target was this is what i have achieved and this is the outcome so if you give them the data trust me no manager will say no to your um, development so i insist this to my team as well i tell them uh, please make sure that you tell me if you have done something extraordinary and it's on the manager a part is on the manager side as well manager a good leader will obviously monitoring the work that you do so uh, it is from his side as well to recognize any good work that has been done by the team but with the virtual uh, scenario in place it is the responsibility of the individual to communicate it effectively so it's just not to communicate you communicate it effectively so that the receiver understands what the achievements that you have done so that it will lead to your career growth thank you ma'am yes um any more questions we have okay uh if thank you ma hello, hello ma'am this is uh, bamini uh, so happy to have you over sorry i had to join a little bit later so i i was late by like 10 minutes Uh, you had already started the presentation. I have sat through the presentation. It's a wonderful uh, session for uh, ourselves, uh, our team, as well as the student community. Uh, the way of putting it forward was uh, was superb, and uh, uh, we uh, we hope that the students will imbibe from you all these skills that you have imbibed over the uh, past few years to your career. And our best wishes for your future also. and uh, actually thank you very much for being here and accepting our in, uh, invitation and being here today uh, and uh, over to shweta thank you so much ma'am thank you it was a very good pleasure to be uh, on this uh, platform for today thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am for your great insights on leadership and great importance of working culture the real gift of gratitude is that the more grateful you are the more present you become robert holden now we have come to the end of the session i request dr sabrina adan shri ramakrishna business school to deliver the closing note shweta if i can add uh, one last uh, small story sure uh, ma'am sure to ma my presentation sure ma'am yeah. sure sure okay uh, sorry to go beyond yeah sorry to no, go beyond pleasure. the time it's a pleasure yeah. it's a pleasure so yeah so one small story to end my presentation uh, it's uh, it's a story of a potato car a uh, potato egg and uh, coffee bean uh, i think it, you would have heard this one as well but one of my favorite story so once uh, a little girl was little worried um, who was some in a teenage she was little worried about what i'm going to do in the future why is my life like this she's little worried as always as anybody would worry about so her dad was uh, saying why this girl is worried all the time why she's thinking about something something what is bothering her so he one day he went to the daughter and asked uh, what is that uh, it's bothering you why are you so so doubtful um, about something why are you always thinking so she said uh, i don't know what i am going to be how i am going to uh, do in the future what i am going to do in the future so dad took her uh, to the kitchen he took uh, a potato an egg and few coffee beans so three had different physical structure in its own so dad put them in a boiling pan so there was hot water so he boiled hot water and he has put all three in three different pans and he left it to boil for few minutes so after boiling he took out all these three ingredients and he was looking at the daughter and daughter was like why 
I, that is doing all these why he will have to boil a potato and egg for a simple question that i asked him so she asked what is that you are trying to tell me with this a small potato egg and coffee bean in the kitchen that we use every day <clears throat> so that was explained that told her this potato was very strong and hard when it was boiled when i showed you before it was very strong but when it was boiled it became soft and you can smash it to pieces it changes its self when it is brought into a certain condition the second thing your egg it was little fragile if you break it it contents will go you can't use it anymore but when you boil it you be it becomes very very strong you open the skull you open the shell you have a boiled strong egg inside which can be consumed but when you see the coffee bean at the last it blends with the water so when she drank the coffee it gave a different aroma i know i know many people like coffee here so it gave a different feel it gave a different pleasure to her of drinking that coffee it relaxed her mind actually so dad was explaining all three underwent the same situation all three underwent the same situation same boiling effect for same time but what do you want to be as an outcome what is that outcome that you want to be is what very important so in life things happen around us things happen to us the only thing that truly matters is your choice of how you react to your situation how you take it up and what you come out of it so life is in your hands and it's completely your choice thank you for the wonderful opportunity that you gave me uh, i'm really happy that i've delivered uh, this session to you all thank you once again uh, thank you ms swetha uh, so really it's a great uh, wonderful session and we are all happy to attend this session really we gathered so many informations from your uh, practical experience uh, the things required for the current uh, leadership so uh, from from your um, uh, presentation so there are the five factors concept you delivered uh, for the required things for the current days uh, leaders uh, the self awareness communication influencing learning ability and decision making uh with this all humility so definitely these are all the things required for the current uh, uh, leadership challenges uh, they they not only they can able to overcome so and one more the wonderful things you are uh, presented in your presentation as a leader be a strong but not a rude be bold but not bully be humble but not timid be kind but not weak then have a humor but not foolish so really uh, i i noticed these all the points is really wonderful points uh, from your experience and uh, the learnings you have presented well and this will be more useful to our uh, uh, students those who are attended uh, today definitely it will be shaping them as a good leader and then moreover uh, you are talking about this multicultural uh, environment how to be shaped uh them as uh, to the extent of the multicultures uh, the uh, i mean uh, by gender uh, different nations different race uh, and cultures and socio environmental uh, diversifications under these situations as a leader they should blend them to the extent of this kind of environment really is a wonderful thing you presented to our students uh, it will be shaping them uh, definitely it will be helpful to shape them for the Uh, increasing their leadership quality and uh, you are from your presentation so you are uh, your practical experience so what you learn from your environment and working environment pnb bari basus how your managers are taking care of you and how they are maintaining the humility and uh, the personal uh, relationship uh, to the work environment uh, to perform well in your work cultures these are really is wonderful presentation uh, it will be helpful to our students to save them as a good leader thank you miss swet uh, somia thank you thank you and then i over to sweta proceed please thank you sir thank you ma'am
Participants are requested to fill out their feedback forms which will be sent to your concerned mails. Participants, please join for the next session on creative thinking as part of Breakthrough to Excellence which is to be held tomorrow. Thank you all.